So I've saved enough bones now to get myself another prayer level. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, actually turn all these bones in to 489 prayer. And this is the last bone for 89 prayer. Really nice. So I still have quite a bit of dragon bones, but uh, fortunately it's nowhere close to getting me to level 90. So I will work on that when I have enough bones. But yeah, that's really cool. One level away from 90 prayer, which is pretty solid. Basically I'll have 90 base, all combat related stats soon. A hard clue from some slayer task. Check it out. Oh my god, Zamrai Chaps and Zami Kite Shield. GG, man, that's crazy. Yo, this Sammy Chap looks unique to me, man. Let me check this out. Oh yeah, I don't have it. Wait, I think I just completed a uh, set. Oh yeah, I did. Yes. Check out what we got so far. Damn, it's starting to look pretty filled. Still got a lot more armor pieces still to fill up though. Ah, that blind dragon mess. Still need that big time. God damn, just hit 81 runecrafting, yo. 226k to uh, 82, not bad. There we go. Got Oh, what? Another occult necklace. Oh my god, dude. But I also have a superior too as well. Damn, very nice. Now I'm at uh, back up to four occult necklaces now, which is really good, really good. Oh, wow. Whatever it dropped, it definitely wasn't that great. Oh, whoa. Elite Clue Scroll. What? Oh, my God. You fucking serious, dude. On the last kill of this task, I get a freaking show left half. Wow. Okay. That's, that's ridiculous, man. I don't know how this keeps happening, dude, with these freaking show left halves. Like... That's four in like less than a month. Let's see if this works. If I use the whip here. Oh, master clue done. You can actually do it at the basement, which is way better than going upstairs. Way faster. Got the master clue basically off of the smug devil superior with that elite clue. So let's check it out. 40 something. Oh, what is that? A samurai casa. I swear that was a pith helmet. I was about to drop it instantly, but yo. Oh, dude. That makes me look so extra Asian, dude. Perfect. Oh, the Armadale Pastry, of course. You see, it's cool. That's definitely a unique item, bro, dude. Now I just need to collect the uh, rest of the Samurai set, and then I will look extra authentic, dude. And we're getting somewhere with this fashion scheme. Wish me luck. What? Did, did it drop anything at all? Range. Oh, whoa! Yo, I just got a whip drop. Oh, come here, man. Three whips. Beautiful, man. That's two whips this week. And another superior small devil is dead. Oh, damn. Oh, my goodness. Another occult necklace. Jesus, my occult necklace collection is crazy right now. I'm, I'm like getting one occult necklace at least a task. The past uh, three... So, I am going to show you my superior log now. It definitely takes quite a bit to, you know, rack up on superior KC, but I'm at 58. Okay, that's pretty good. Getting close to 60. I think by maybe today, I can get 60, actually. Oh my god, another cold necklace! This is crazy, dude. Yo, I've been getting a cult necklace every single task. Four tasks in a row now. That's just crazy. What is going on, man? And we get a superior kill. Oh wait, Miss Battle Staff! Oh my god, dude, that looked like a freaking uh, air battle staff, dude, for a second. Yo, nice, nice, dude. I got the Dust Battle Staff now and the Miss Battle Staff. Wasn't the imbue hard, but yo, whatever, dude. That's pretty cool, man. I got a new item. Pretty happy about that, man. Cool. Oh, okay. Oh well, already got one cool drop this task so pretty happy about that man uh where's this from oh yeah this is from the smoke devil task earlier here we go oh armadale bracers it's for certain i don't have this okay so i have collected five totems again it took a while but what do we get from these five totems 
First hard clue from Scotizo. Let's go. Oh my days. Wow. Master clue scroll Bandos Kai Shield. Oh wait, I don't have a Bandos Kai Shield. But I also got a Master Clue to do, so. Alright, let's pop up this Master Clue. Check it out. Oh well. This is number four Scotizo. My god, never ever leaves me alone, dude. Five shield left halves in less than a month. You guys ready for this? Eight! This is hard clue number four from Scotizo, I think. Oh my god! Yes! Yes! Black Dragon Mask! Oh my god, you came at the right time. <laughs> oh my goodness, Black Dragon Mask, dude, I just completed all the Master Clue Scroll requirements, dude. Every single one, man. So it took me, let's see here, 347 Heart Clues to complete all of the Emote Clue items, at least for the Masters. I, in general, I have all the Emote Clue items for every single clue, but main thing I do nowadays is the Masters, so that's the most important thing. So I'm really glad that this Black Dragon Mask is out of the way. Alright, so I can do every single master clue from now on in the game, so that's awesome. And regarding hard clues, I probably won't be doing them as frequently since they're not going to be as important to do. But yeah, I will still do them every now and then because there's still some good rewards that I could get, mainly for collections. Last kill out of totems once again. Badoodle time! Badoodle! But yeah, I'm at 27 Scotizo KC post update with like the pet and all that stuff, so. Still got ways to go, man, before uh, some pet drops or something. Alright, Master Clue, basically from Scotizo number two, so here we go. I'm content today. Man, the insatiable mutated blood fell. It's my first one on this account, I think. But the design is just so weird. It's got like, you know, a big ass. Nice though. Dark tone in the middle. So they did an update somewhat recently they got rid of some of these uh rooms with like cyclops and stuff and added more blood veils so yeah now that it's not really so crowded it's a nice task for me to actually go and afk and do since i can just mob like six of them and just like yeah sit here and chill although not the best superiors but still helps me towards my goal of the imbue heart so another superior blood veil guys um, okay, nice. Finished another totem. Starting off strong for the next uh, Scotizo grind. Oh, damn. Nice, man. It's great. We're getting a lot of leak clues for a lot of masters and whatnot, so that's awesome. Superior Episode Demon. First of the day. What do we get? Okay, already getting close to completing two totems in one day. Impressive. Very nice. Good way to start off the day. Got my third dark bow, man. Pretty good. Oh, wait. Was this my fourth one? Whatever, man. Good drop. Night Beast. Superior is dead. What do we get? Well, well, well. Always completing totems. At the very least. Let's check it out. Oh, wow. Okay, here we go. This greater Absol Demon's dead, we get. Oh, okay. Dark Totem base, whatever. I used all five yesterday and now I'm back up to two, so that's pretty sick. Ooh, Absol Whip, man. Speaking about the RNG, I got it. Yeah, now I'm back at uh, like four whips in my bank. Alright, uh, we got a second superior Absol Demon. Gonna kill it. Wish me luck. Wow, that's a lot of stuff, but yeah, nothing yet. Oh my god, another whip. Wow. This is my first task in, uh, that I got two whips in such a long time. Hell yeah, dude. One more hit. Cleared. Here we go. Oh, uh, what is this? Wow, 450 Ray Casey though. No drop, but... Pretty nice. 50 more race to go for the beautiful 500. 
So on today's episode, I made a lot of Slayer gains, particularly in the Abyssal Whips, the Occult Necklaces. The Abyssal Whips though are the important ones because I need them for my Abyssal Tentacle for raids. And the other important thing was the Miss Battle Staff that I got from Superior. So that's one of the four items that you can get from the Superior. I also have the Dust Battle Staff, so that's two out of the four unique items. But the main thing I'm looking for though is the Imbue Heart, so I'm obviously still going to be working hard trying to get that. And on the next episode though, I plan on doing a lot more raids than usual. I mean, I'm already doing consistent raids every day, but I am working on a new strategy for solo raids right now that might be really worthwhile and much more efficient than the current style that I'm using. I just haven't, you know, done enough tests yet, so I don't want to talk about it yet. I'll talk to you guys more about the raids though in the next episode. Hopefully we get some race items as well that would really, you know, be perfect for that episode. Anyways, if you are new to the series and you would like to stay up to date, with future episodes from this series feel free to subscribe and other than that thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys enjoyed today's video as usual and i will see you guys later with another episode probably in a few days take care